What's up guys and uh, welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, hello to you too. Uh, wow, that sounded so like <laughs> rehearsed. We actually had a lot of new people coming in in the past few days and uh, I don't know, like I can't describe how much I appreciate the support. I mean the comments that you guys give, I mean it feels really unreal. Uh, and we're getting close to 2000 subscribers which is like... A guy at work told me like, oh, you realize how many people that actually is, like if you were to put it in a room? And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, just thank you all for the support. And uh, I feel kind of stupid not uploading more videos when I have such an awesome community like behind me. Uh, but yeah, like as you may or may not know, I am currently like, I started my freelance business thing. Uh, I'm currently working 80% as a freelance filmmaker. And um, I've been trying to like set up my web page, set up my Instagram, like company Instagram and just getting all the puzzle pieces together uh, to get a good start in the business as a freelancer. But yeah, enough about that, uh, let's get straight to the point. Uh, about two weeks ago I uploaded a video where I took you guys with me shooting at the streets of Hanoi, like a cinematic run and gun shooting kind of video. Just hitting the streets basically with my camera. And uh, I really liked the result of the video and I feel like you did too, so I wanted to make like a follow-up showing you guys how I edited that sequence as well. Because I think you're gonna be surprised at how easy it actually was. We're gonna jump straight into the project file and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole editing process, the whole project, everything. Um, yeah, let's go! Alright, so I'm actually not gonna teach you guys like any kind of effects or anything because this video barely contains any effects. Uh, it contains uh, speed ramps and uh, yeah, that's about it. And if you want to learn about speed ramping, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube already. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys through the process from the beginning until the end when I'm creating an edit in Premiere Pro. And we're gonna begin with a sequence named whatever you want. Mine is named Cuts. And basically what I do is I go into the assembly part of Premiere Pro and I start going through all the material piece by piece and I put it in the sequence, the stuff that I wanna use. And uh, yeah, so basically what you can see here is all the usable stuff that I feel like looks good and might fit in the edit. And since I also created the behind the scenes part uh, in this sequence or project or whatever, the yellow ones are the behind the scenes clips that are corresponding with the cinematic clip, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that is the first step, just going through all the material, picking out the pieces that you want to use um, or that you might use. So the second step, I go into editing and I create a new sequence, which is called Kut Janne in this case and this is where the like the hard part starts I guess the brainstorming part and uh, what I found is I just found this clip of the lady and yeah basically like when I start to edit I try to especially when you've been running and gunning like this usually you don't really have a plan or anything so you just gotta try to come up with a story of the clips that you have and that can sometimes be really hard, but you have to remember that people that are watching the video usually don't know anything about the behind the scenes. So you can just make up any story that you want, like the clips don't even have to be from the same hour or day or, or even week, you know? Um, but in this case though, we're using clips that would shot within like a four hour time frame. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to try to create a story. And the first thing that popped into my head when I saw the shot of the lady was like, 
I just thought it looked really good. It was like a really wide shot. It felt like an opening shot, like really slow, just pushing in on her, you know. And then I got the idea that Hanoi is such a busy city and everything. So maybe you could try to portray that she's like crossing the road and everything else in the edit is happening like simultaneously, you know, like fast paced as the music ramps up, we have like a fast paced and then in the end we come back to the lady, you know? So that was my original plan when I started and like that's what I based everything off from, from then going forward. So there's the clip of the lady and then she's like reading a paper. I just basically like when I got that idea in my head, I started to look for like slow clips here in the beginning to match with the music. So she's reading, he's eating, she's walking again. And here on the beat that's about to come, that's when I start to ramp up the speed, you know, and uh, go into like the more faster part of the edit. So there's a speed ramp into that. Speed ramp. And this is like continuous throughout the edit. I wanted to make it feel like a continuous move somehow. Uh, and uh, I did that only by speed ramping and looking for clips that fit together somewhat um, by like what's on the screen and also by the movements. So I mean, this is moving to the right, speed ramp moving to the right, speed ramp moving to the right. And also, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called match cutting. This guy, there's a moped in the frame here to the left. And in the next one, there's a guy driving past. So like, sorry, I'm a bit sick guys. <laughs> in your head though, like you're gonna, unconsciously think that it fits together because there was a scooter in each shot, you know what I mean? So it feels more seamless just because of that. Um, um, so yeah, speed run. speed run. And here, all I did to this clip was speed ramp into it. And this is like when the music really starts. You can hear it's like or something. And uh, yeah, I just, all I did here was as the clip moves forward, I used the scale to scale in a little bit. And then I cut to a similar clip, like from a different direction. Just zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. And here, like the camera move of the original clip was moving back again. So I just speed ramped that a little bit into a different clip that was also moving like backwards, as you can see here. Uh, <laughs> copyright the sound effects and um, yeah it's moving backwards here moving backwards moving backwards and here is like the the fast pace part of the music as you can hear and I'm just doing lots of fast cuts basically after each other like trying to show the different things going on in the city people doing whatever they do you know and yeah, there's nothing fancy at all, basically. Um, uh, and as you can see here, to make this kind of match the next frame, because uh, I wanted this clip to go into this clip, I had to put this clip backwards. As you can see, the scooters are moving backwards. And you might notice it, you might not, but I think it's fine. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I would notice it if I didn't make the edit. Comment down below if you did notice it the first time. Uh, but yeah, we got her and then into this clip, like just speed ramping, same like movement and that is, you can see it's backwards behind there as well. Same movement and here it's like a cut. That's not the same movement, but I mean, you don't always have to edit to the beat or edit to a certain movement or whatever. You can just do hard cuts sometimes. It's not gonna like... It's not gonna ruin your video. But yeah, here we got like a backwards clip of this lady cutting meat. And then we got a different angle of the same thing. And then like speed ramped it so that it's like going fast in and then slow and then fast to a different lady cutting meat. That's also like a match cut. You got the meat here, you got the meat here. And then I just cut from this into this. And at this point, I just basically wanted like some fast clips to match the music here. 
and there we go, you caught me. That's the only single like technical transition in the whole video, the masking transition here. And if you ask me, it's not even necessary. I don't even know why I used it to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's the only technical transition in the whole video. And then we got this lady just walking. And to be honest, I'm not super happy with the last part of the video. Um, but I mean, I wanted to finish up the video and to be honest, I didn't really have that many clips. The clips that you see here is almost every single clip that I shot, almost. And to be able to match it together this well is, if you ask me, kind of nice. All right, so I guess that's kind of the, like, the contents of this video. I guess it became more like a director's commentary, if you will. Uh, because, I mean, there's not really that much to teach. Uh, I mean, speed ramping, there's tons of tutorials on speed ramping. Uh, but I hope you can, like, see that a lot of the time it's just matching shots. Because in the beginning, when I was making videos, I was thinking to myself that, oh, they have these fancy transition packs. And, like, I was, like, transitions in itself. I could sit for hours and hours working on, like zoom transitions i wanted to have my own custom made ones and yeah i don't know like there's a time and place to use transitions like that but most of the time it's just storytelling matching shots matching cuts matching music matching sound effects that creates the entirety of the video and uh, yeah it's just about sitting down and trying to come up with a story or come up with a story in the beforehand and then you're gonna have an even easier time um so yeah all right guys so that was it for this little tutorial uh, i hope you learned something hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you can feel like it's not that complicated you know because it actually isn't you just have to put in some time and some thought and it's all gonna work out in the end i promise and before you even ask i am gonna make a third video talking about the sound design I just feel like it's a large subject and I wanted to cover it in a separate video, so um, I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna go grab some lunch. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.